everyone, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer interview. We are here today at Arizona Game Fair in Mesa, Arizona. I'm Callie from Unfiltered Gamer, and I'm here today with Matt from Game Wave Studios. Hello, Matt. Hi. <laughs> uh, and you're here today sharing Dice Tactics. Uh, tell us a little bit about what it is and why you created it. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, so Dice Tactics is a uh, tabletop game that isn't a mobile app. You get to play with all kinds of different dice. Dice are the main component of the game. So you win dice after every battle, and that dice you can use to upgrade your weapons, your heroes, and even get past certain events. So, for example, if you're coming up to a bandit camp, you would be able to roll a certain number, but then you could pull those dice from your bag to help you get over that number. Um, and then all of the dice are rolled through real dice physics. So what that means is when you roll the dice, you're actually rolling the dice. We as the programmers have no idea what you're gonna roll. So if you roll a one, don't send me hate mail. I'm sorry, it wasn't my fault. Awesome, so tell us a little bit about what inspired you to create this game. Oh, yeah. So um, I travel a lot. So I was you know, on planes, on cars, on you know, ships, on spaceships, you know, that kind of stuff. No, I was on spaceships, I wish I was, but. <laughs> um, but you know, I, was, I always wanted to play d and I always wanted to play those tabletop games. I want to play board games. I love board games. And there's not, you know, there are now, they're starting to become more now, but not many then when I started the development of this project. And so that kind of what brought me into it. And, and the more that we develop it, and the more we find that like people that are, you know, older are like, hey, this feels a lot familiar. It feels like what I used to grow up with. And then we find kids that are like, hey, this is brand new. I've never seen this before. And it's really exciting to see those two generations kind of start to meld together and play something that they enjoy, which really that's what board games are, right? That's awesome. I love, yeah, bringing people together, always a great theme. Definitely a theme consistent in the tabletop community. Yeah. That's awesome. I love how you are uh, thinking about a challenge, which is how can we bring uh, more like travel friendliness to yeah. some of the games, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. So if uh, people want to learn more about Dice Tactics, or uh, I heard you have maybe a Kickstarter, how can they get involved in that and learn more about it? Yeah, excellent. So we have Dice Tactics. I don't know if that gets in there. And uh, our Kickstarter is going to be May 1st to May 30th. We're looking to release what's Chapter 1 on the iOS and Android store. And right now you can get the older version. This is the Game on Expo build. It's much older, it's more of a beta version. Beta. It has some spoilers, so if you wanna get some of the idea of what's gonna happen in chapter one, get it now. Um, but you can go to uh, fund.gws.io to sign up to get mailing lists and get you know access to you know when we send out different flyers, different events. And then also uh, find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, either Game Wave Studios or Dice Tactics, either one. Search both of them. Thanks. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for sharing about <laughs> Dice Tactics. I can't wait to see how your Kickstarter does. And I hope you have a great time at the con here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing you guys next time. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer interview. I'm Callie here at Arizona Game Fair in Mesa, Arizona, and I'm talking here with Matt from 1x5 Games. He's gonna share his game Clunkers. So tell us a little bit about Clunkers and what makes it unique. Well, Clunkers is a space mining, asteroid mining game where you have to go out in your clunker with your pilot and try to mine asteroids before space manages to kick your butt because space apparently does not want us out there. So what happens is as you mine, uh, you pull cards that actually deal space to you and space can collapse on you, creating dark gravity and it'll cut you off from your refinery so you can't get home. So what makes this unique is that it's a cooperative game made for one to five players uh, it takes about 45 minutes to maybe 90 minutes to play, and it builds on the space tiles, so as you build it, you can strategically form space as you go along. So asteroids pop up, uh, dark gravity forms, you have all kinds, of, uh, uh, all kinds of hazards going on in space that attack your clunker, attack you, and make life very difficult. 
Awesome. So tell us a little bit about, I see there's a lot of stuff on the table, a little bit about what you get with the game. This is a prototype, obviously, so just right. share like all the different stuff. Right. Well, we have this prototype now in Lego form, but we're looking to have about six uh, clunkers in a basic set, six pilots, uh, all with different abilities, and you'll get about 30 space tiles, which ends up being just barely enough because by the time you actually get to building the entire uh, space quadrant, it's looking pretty rough for you anyway. So uh, you also get, uh, of course, all the art uh, with the main refinery. You get the elements and the asteroids. We've got little, little pieces of asteroids here. We've got the different elements and each element will fit into your cargo hull in a specific way. The little cuboid design will actually fit only in a certain way. Oh, awesome. so, so you'll be putting it, you'll be putting them in your clunker then. Right. Basically you'll have it stored there uh, or stored on your playing card but uh, you get different missions to try to accomplish so as you mine you pull out the different elements and take them back to the sprue, the, the RRV sprue, that's our mothership, and try to get it back home and try to save, uh, save the profits because Apparently, corporate doesn't mind you getting killed, but uh, space even li likes it more. So that's what you get. Awesome. Sounds like a really fun kind of family cooperative game. Uh, really interested to see how, how you guys do on Kickstarter. So tell us a little bit about your upcoming campaign. Well, we're going to start Kickstarter hopefully in August. And by then, we'll have a better idea of what we're looking at as far as uh, price point and all that stuff but it's going to be dependent on of course when we 3d print the tokens and try to get that try to get the cost down to get this out to market as fast as possible because all of our testing kids have loved this thing uh the parents of the kids have loved this thing it's broken introverted shells and everyone gets involved in it and it's basically a mad mad dash to try and get the game won well, awesome. I love the name too, Clunkers. You just have your clunker ship, right? Absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing, Matt. And if people want to, uh, you know, get involved, learn more, and sign up to get notified about the Kickstarter, where should they go? Uh, they should go to one by 5 gamescom and you can find us on any social media, Twitter, um, Instagram, Facebook, all of them. We're all there. But uh, just come on over, subscribe, like us, whatever and we'll keep you everyone informed uh we're keeping up on everything so stop on by say hi say hi to scully our mascot and uh he'll probably try not to insult you too much well thank you so much matt i hope you have a great con thank and you. look forward to see you guys next time Cheers. hello everyone I'm Callie from Unfiltered Gamer here at Arizona Game Fair with Nate from the Chief Sales Officer of Gameling Games. Hey. And he's here showing off Tiny Epic Tactics as well as some other games. Tell yes. us a little bit about Tiny Epic Tactics though. Yeah, certainly. So Tiny Epic Tactics is the newest game introduced in the Tiny Epic series. Um, we just wrapped up on Kickstarter about three weeks ago and we actually have late pledges available for the game. Um, a lot of unique things to this. Um, we went away from our namesake component item meeples, uh, something that we're featuring in Tiny Pick Mechs, which we are ahead of schedule and we actually will be uh, releasing mechs in July. Good. Yes, yes. <laughs> Um, but Tiny Epic Tactics is going to offer a variety of gameplay. Um, it has nesting boxes inside of it, and there's just a lot going on inside this. Um, and we've been working really tightly and closely with our manufacturer to continue to create custom components, unique bits and such that aren't you know, in other types of games. So we played a couple of the Tiny Epic games, and they're actually all different. Could you tell us what is unique about this tiny, tiny Epic Tactics that you don't find in the other games? Yeah, certainly. So again, all of the Tiny Epic games are really as different as Ticket to Ride is to say Carcassonne, you know, but they all have this box, the, the frame, and you know how much really is in this. Uh, but what makes Tiny Epic Tactics a little different is it's a tactic style board game. You know, think uh, all the Final Fantasy tactics. I think a lot of people get a lot of nostalgia from that, but the gameplay matches is very similarly. So everybody's going to take control of a team. I have a fighter, a wizard, a rogue, and a beast. And they're all, you know, have their own unique special abilities they're going to bring to the table. We're all going to start in our in our quadrants and there's going to be uh, there's going to be regions inside that we need to capture. And so we're moving there, we're attacking each other, but the terrain is 3D. So you'll be able to jump up, move up, and again, if you're at an elevated position, guess what? You're, when you attack somebody down low, you're going to get the bonus from that. Yeah, I saw the game spread out. It's actually surprising 
all the stuff you guys pack into these tiny boxes. Yes. It's really impressive. Yes, all, you, so like you see Max here? Yeah. It all goes back in this oh box. Oh my gosh, yeah. everything goes, well, and except I, for the mat, of course, right? The yeah. That's correct, it's, a, it's an ancillary product. Uh, but this is a uh, production copy that people are seeing. So this is, well, is actually, you know, of the first time that the production copy has actually been in the wild, so. Yeah, I love just putting the little weapons onto the meeples. That's yes. really satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> right, the, the feel of these, the tactile grip and feel that you get of these weapons is incredible. Yes. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about what made you get into the game industry. Like, what was your, your passion or why you wanted to create these games? Yeah, sure. So, child of the 80s, you know, and so I, so I grew up playing video games. Um, but, you know, as I grew up, I, I'm not a software engineer by trade. You know, I don't know how to make games, you know, but, yeah. uh, but I could envision, you know, board games. Um, and Michael Coe, the founder of our company, you know, we were great friends actually growing up in high school. Um, and so we've reconnected kind of later in life and we, you know, we've put our collective brains together and, you know, we now make games instead of, you know, work at our mundane jobs. So That's awesome. So if people are interested in Tiny Epic Tactics, where should they go to learn more and sign up for the Kickstarter? Yes. So you absolutely want to go to GamelinGames.com. Follow us on Facebook, Gamelin Games. Instagram, Gamelin Games. <laughs> Twitter, Gamelin Games. And so if you search Tiny Epic, you're going to find all of our products. So... Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Nathan, for sharing the games, and I hope you have a great con. Yes, I will. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time.